There we go. That's a pretty good pull. I think that, that might be a pretty decent fish. I came out here in about 40 to 60 foot of water and just started driving using my sonar, spending a lot of time with my side imaging sonar and just really looking around for fish. And I found a lot of really good sized blue catfish just really scattered all around through this area. And none of them were really stacked up very well. There wasn't a whole lot of bait around, but I just saw a lot of fish just peppered around. So I just got out here and I started drifting where I saw these fish scattered around and just covered a lot of water. I made about three or four drifts, about two or 300 yards long, and then finally hooked into this fish. And uh, this is a good fish. This is a good blue cat. Definitely the kind of fish that I'm looking for this time of year. He's made a big mess of everything here, rolled up in my other line. Let's see if I can get him in the boat here. All right, let's see here if we can get him in. There we go. Man, what a mess. That right there is a good wintertime blue catfish. Now, I moved up into this shallower water up in some flooded timber here. Weather started to warm up and the wind really started blowing so I'm trying to tuck out of that wind a little bit and I was hoping with the shallow water and the warmth that some fish would start moving into this shallow water and I just pulled up in here and fanned my rods up around this timber with this fresh shad just like I was fishing in that deep water. Carolina rig with a three ounce sinker, a swivel, a 50 pound monofilament leader, a float, and a circle hook with a piece of cut shad. And uh, you know, that's a, a certainly a good eating size blue cat. Not a trophy fish, but you can get up in this timber like this and catch these good eating fish all day long. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one back in the water, see if we can't catch another one.